Hi there, this is Don Jones, one of the authors at Real Time Publishers, and I've got a great tip for using Windows PowerShell version 2 more effectively. As you may know, one of the cool things about Windows PowerShell version 2 is its ability to use some of the new modules that shipped with Windows Server 2008 R2 and Windows 7. So I'll import the Active Directory module. One of the great tasks that you can automate with this module and Windows PowerShell version 2 is creating new users. Let's say your Human Resources Department provides you a CSV file, kind of like this one. Uh, that might be created in a database or even just created as an Excel spreadsheet and saved as a CSV. As you can see, I've created four columns titled Name, Title, Department, and City. And I've created three rows of data. Each row has a name, a title, a department, and a city. If I import this into Windows PowerShell, you can see that each of those data rows was turned into a new object. So I've got three objects, and each column from the CSV was turned into a property of these objects. So each of my three objects has got a name, title, department, and city property. Why is that useful? Well, if you look at the full help for the new AD user command, you'll notice that some of the parameters here match those property names. So I've got a name parameter, I've got an organization parameter, department parameter, I've got a city parameter, all those different types of things. And if you start looking at some of these things, such as the city parameter, you'll notice that they accept pipeline input by property name. Well, that means if I pipe in an object that has a city property, its value will be attached to the city parameter, simply because the name of the property matches the name of the parameter. And that means one easy way to create new users, given a CSV file like that, is to import the CSV and pipe it to new AD user. If we then open up the Active Directory Users and Computers console, drop into the default location, since I didn't specify a different one, you'll notice that all of my users have been created and the information has been filled in appropriately. So that's a nice easy way, but what if you've been given a CSV where the titles don't match those parameter names. Do you, do you have to come in and just manually edit the CSV file? Well, of course not. Doing anything manually is just a horrible thing to do when you've got a computer that's going to do it for you. So in 60 seconds, I'll show you the solution. Today's hottest technology authors can be found at real-time publishers, and you have an all-access pass to electronic editions of their books. Register today for your free membership at nexus.realtimepublishers.com and you'll have unlimited access to more than a hundred complete books, all available as unprotected PDFs that you can print or share with colleagues. No white papers, no sales pitches, they're real books by independent authors and the electronic editions are yours for free. Visit nexus.realtimepublishers.com to learn more and to register for your free membership. You can see in this modified CSV file that the department column is no longer named department. It's been abbreviated to dept. That means the object property name, dept, will no longer match the department parameter name of new AD user. And so that column from the CSV won't automatically get attached to the right parameter. So we'll just save this file. Here's the fix for it in PowerShell. After importing the CSV, I use Select Object. I tell it I want to select all of the object's original properties, including that depth property, which isn't going to do me any good. The depth property won't hurt things or help things. In addition to all of the built-in properties, though, all of the natural ones that came out of the CSV, I want to create a new property called Department. And I want to set it equal to whatever the depth property is. So when we hit Enter, you can see that in addition to the depth property, we've also picked up a department property, and it has the same value as the depth property. That'll allow us to have a property with the correct name, so we can pipe it to do new AD user. Switching over to Active Directory Users and Computers again, we can see that the new users were created. They not only have the address information, but they also have the correct department information all filled in. This is a great way to use Windows PowerShell version 2 to automate what would otherwise be kind of a repetitive and, and boring task. Let the computer do the work. Whether you're getting the right input or not, Windows PowerShell can rearrange and rename things so that everything falls in place.